Good morning, Carl. It may feel like we're doing a Weather Channel hit right now, but we're in Naples, Florida. It's torrential downpours, and we're kind of see if the golf, golf course finishes up. But I'm here with CME Group Chairman and CEO Terry Duffy. Uh, Terry, we've got some news this morning because the CME Group has just extended its sponsorship agreement with the season-ending LPGA Tour Championship until 2025. Can you take us through why the CME group is well positioned to stand alongside the LPGA and women's professional golf? Yeah, many reasons uh, that we are doing this. We, we think it's important to support women, women in sport. Uh, so CME has been a leader in this for many, many years. You know, this helps build the brand of CME group. I can remember sitting around many years ago listening to Charlie Rose talk to uh, some real luminaries in the business. And one of the things that they asked him, what, what could hurt your business? And, and it's reputational harm. And one of the things I'm very protective of are reputational harm and making sure that we are out there branding our company to the best we can and being branded with the LPGA and, of course, our charity sponsor, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, is something we're all very proud of. Now, this season-ending championship is going to result in the culmination of the season here. What do you think is going to be the future of golf and women's golf in general going forward? You know, I think it's, it's pretty hard to predict, um, Dom. I think we're going to have to wait to see how the men's game shakes out and see what happens there and if there's a follow-on by the women. I actually think they'll be able to break up and do their own thing and not have to be too committed to where the men go with the Liv and the PGA Tour. Now, speaking of uncertainty, it's great to have you here on a day when the market had a massive rally. And these days, everyone's trying to figure out what's going to happen next. You have a front row seat to volatility yeah. in the markets at the future side of things. Just take us through your perspective about what you think the markets could look like in the next 6 to 12 months. Well, I, I actually think, Don, we're going to see a, a lot of the same what we saw over the last year. We're going to see a continued volatility. I know everybody's really excited over yesterday when we came in with the, the CPI number that was two, one-tenth difference in the estimates, and we get a little excited about that, which we should. That's what markets do. They anticipate where the market's going to be, what the Fed may or may not do. But, you know, I didn't hear a lot of people talking about some of the geopolitical events or using those inputs going into the marketplace. So I still see a tremendous amount of risk out there. I mean, you have the uncertainty in the Middle East. You have the uncertainty between Russia, Ukraine, and God knows what's going to happen between Chinese and the Taiwanese. So it's, it's a very interesting time right now. So I think people need to manage and mitigate that. I see a lot of the same for 2024. You know, just in the last few moments on Squawk on the Street, former Barclays CEO Bob Diamond was on talking about some of the potential issues around the debt markets, the debt overhang, treasury issuance in the future, also potential cracks in the credit market that may or may not emerge at some point. What do you think is going to be that unforeseen, foreseen factor that could really drive market volatility, well, besides I think, geopolitical? Yeah, one of the things I see is just, and I've said this before to Carl, and I know he's in studio, and Sarah, is when you look at the auctions when the government's issuing debt, you know, the supply-demand supply issue associated with that, if in fact that we don't get the demand for our treasuries, we're going to have to continue to pay more for people to buy those. And, and I don't, again, I don't think people are factoring that into the equation. So I think we'll see a lot more of that pricing going on as the year goes on in 2024. So I don't really disagree with what Bob Diamond said. All right. Uh, Carl, David, uh, I'm going to toss things back to you guys. But again, this is going to be a great tournament. Hopefully the weather cooperates in the next couple of days. But a big announcement from CME Group. Terry, thank you very much. For Tom, thanks here. for being here. Carl, I hope you're doing well. All right, David, back <laughs> over to you guys. Carl's doing great. <laughs>